Welcome back. In this video, we are going to take a look at the Redux Toolkit API. All right. So these are the most common ones you are going to use in your day in day out project. So let's get going. We are going to explore each API with code. So the first one we are going to take a look in this video is called Configure Store. All right. So what Configure Store does is it helps us to set up our Redux store with less code, with less effort. So let's get started. All right. So let's show you, let me show you where the documentation is. So let's go to Google, our friend, and then let's search for Redux toolkit. Google it, Redux toolkit like so and the first search result let's click on that all right so this is the home page of readers toolkit and to get started let's click on the apis all right and on the left hand side scroll down and then there we go we have store setup this is the first thing we're going to set up our store so you click on store setup it says that a friendly abstraction over the standard redux create store all right, is abstraction over the standard Redux create store function that adds go default to the store setup for better development experience. All right, so what it's saying is that for configure store, um, by default, it's it will give you all the development experience. For example, you don't need to install any third part any third party package to get it done. So let's take a look at how it's been um, done. All right, so when you scroll down, you see it gives you the depth extension tool as well. It gives you the middlewares, right? It gives you, that is awesome, right? And then let's scroll down. It gives you dev tools and then also give you some enhancers as well. <coughs> Sorry. And let's look at the usage, right? This is all what you need to get it done, to create a store. You need to import the configure store and then it accepts one reducer. And this you have your store all right so let's go back to code so i have my fresh react application being created for the previous video and it's running on this port and there's nothing fancy going on so here we're going to get our store being set up all right so let's even remove all these um text here and then let me have h1 and say redux to k counter app all right let's save it and there we go okay so let's get it done to set up our store so this is how i like to structure my react application so inside my src let me create one file so one folder called redux and in there let me create one folder called store. I'm going to have all my store and in there, let's create the main file of store.js. All right, so here, let's start with the store setup. All right, so the first thing is, we need to import configure store from at redux to kit and all what i need is called configure store all right that's all what you need so now we have brought in the configure store and what else do we do i need all what i need is create my function and then store is equal to configure store and it takes an object as a configuration and the the only required parameter here is called reducer and this reducer takes an object and in here we can place in any of your reducers you're going to use we're going to talk about how to create reducer for now but as a stand let's have just a variable say counter and then let's assign to um, an empty object 
like that all right so the next thing is let's export default this store and the last thing is what let's go to our index.js file right and then let's bring in provider from react redux provider and start all right and then because we are going to wrap our store inside our main entry point of our application all right next thing is let's bring in our store that we created and i have auto import as that so the next step is we need to wrap our component with the provider right so let me remove that react street mode and provide this provider and pass in my store as the only argument so with this when you go back to our application let's refresh it and you can see that here we have the redux dev extension to being what installed for us automatically so if you click on that you see that we have the dev extension to with less code so you can see that with two or four lines of code we are able to what create our store using redux toolkit the next video we are going to talk about how to create a reducer and action